Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your Business Boost video. And in this particular video, I want to talk about what money is. So the big question being is, what is money? There is so much that is attached to money these days because we are literally a materialistic world, right? The um, And it's not necessarily our fault. It's kind of just the way that we've been unconsciously taught or socially, uh, uh, what's the word, conditioned. And it's a mistake on, behalf, on on parts of some people, and at the same time, like it's a, it's a mistake on our part as well. So the reason I wanted to talk about this topic is because I've been studying money this week, um, doing some courses and stuff like that. And no, I'm not studying like currencies or forex or anything like that. What I'm actually studying is what money really is, right? What what I, what is it actually like? When we think about things that are being taught to us, like by religions and government organizations, is that, you know, that money is evil and that wanting more money is greed and all of these kinds of things. But is it really? Is it really? No, I don't think so. Just because you desire and want more than other people, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're greedy. It simply means that you have a greater desire and passion to reach for something that other people don't necessarily want to. And that's fine because there's probably something that they want to reach for more than you do. Like, for example, they may want to play basketball more than you. They may want to go to the gym more than you. They may want to eat healthier than you. They, more, they may want to drink more water than you. But does that make them greedy? No. Money is just a thing. So what is money? Money is just an idea. Money is just a piece of paper. Like, literally, that's what it is, right? It's a piece of paper. It is nothing more, nothing less. The meaning you choose to attach to it is the energy in which you're giving it. It doesn't make it, it doesn't mean that that's what it is. It simply means that that's what you've chosen to give to it, right? That's your decision. That's not money. Okay, so how do you go about utilizing money or how do you make money? Uh, sorry, how do you, what, what is money? How, how do you maximize what it is you get from money? Sorry, I was trying to get that question right in my head. Obviously, it didn't work. But money is simply a tool. And whether you like it or not, it's here to stay. And in the 21st century, if you want to do, be, have, or achieve damn near anything, you need money in order to do it. Now, I know there's people uh, that say like, you know, uh, you know, having too much money is greedy. Again, we spoke about this a little bit earlier on, and that's fine. Just understand that that's their social conditioning, that's their family conditioning, that's their religious conditioning, that's their governmental, uh, that's their cultural belief, whatever the case may be, but that doesn't make you a bad person for wanting more money. To me, I believe money gives you more options. Money gives you more options. So what is money? Money is a tool, right? That's the question. What is money? Money is a tool. And you need to utilize that to achieve what it is that you actually want to achieve. Now, let me tell you, if having money is being greedy, please answer me this question. Is the person who makes $500,000 a year giving away $100,000 to the poor and needy and homeless and uh, people who are starving? Or... Is it the person who makes $50,000 a year who needs to rely on a government uh, subsidy in order to survive? Which one of the two is greedy? Good question, right? Yes. And here's the reason why. Because giving you more money, uh, having more money, sorry, gives you options. Because that's all that money really is. It's a tool. How you go about utilizing it is completely up to you. You choose how to utilize it. You choose whether money is going to be used for good or money is going to be used for bad. The choice is yours, right? So here's what I'm going to suggest, right? Make as much money as you want to make, right? And then, you know, go a little bit beyond that. Stretch yourself 10, 20% beyond that and then give it away. Give it away, right? What a concept. If you want to make $100,000, if you, if you believe that $100,000 is going to make a big difference in your life, it will. Right, so you go about making that hundred hundred thousand dollars, but don't aim for hundred. Aim for hundred and ten. Aim for hundred and twenty. Not for you. Aim for that extra bit of money so that you can give it away, so that you can make a difference in somebody else's life. You don't think that that extra ten or twenty thousand dollars that you don't need, or you're saying you don't need, right? But really, what it probably is is that you've never made that amount of money. You're trying to justify it somehow psychologically. What you really need to do is make that extra bit of money and give it away and see the feeling that it brings for you, 
then you'll realize how powerful money really is. When you're able to feed someone on the streets without worrying about your own pocket, my mate Jimbo does this, right? When you're able to give money away uh, to, to people on the streets so that they can actually buy Christmas presents for their kids uh, because they were, so, they, they were so worried that they had no idea what they were doing. They're out there working on Christmas Eve until 9, 10, 11 p.m. at night. My friend Zach does this, right? What is money? Money is a tool. And if you've watched this far, then I've got your attention, not because of, what, uh, of, of who I am, but because you believe in what I'm saying. But don't feel guilty for wanting more money, i.e. wanting more options in your life. Think about it. If it wasn't for money, how would I feed my kids? If it wasn't for money, how would I pay for the rent to shelter them? If it wasn't for money, how would I pay for them to go to school? How would I gas up my car to take them to school? If it wasn't for money, how would I go about uh, uh, giving all the opportunities that my kids have that other people aren't able to give because they don't have the money? Understand the fact that money is just a piece of paper. That money is a tool. How you choose to utilize it is completely your choice. Right? Just because you want more, because you want a better life, because you want more options, that doesn't make you guilty. It makes other people small-minded. And they really need to give themselves a checkup from the neck up to figure out what's really going on behind it all. Is it cultural? Is it religious? Is it governmental? Is it social? Is it family conditioning that has taught them that having more money is bad? All right? Because unless you figure that out and you overcome it, you're always going to be broke and even if you do make money it's going to be you're either going to be spending more than you're actually making or it's going to be gone quicker than you can actually get it right before you can actually bring it back in to make a difference in your life all right so look i hope you enjoyed this video understand again what is money money is a tool how you utilize it is what really gives it its power so go about using it the right way make a difference in people's lives right not just your own Okay, because the ones that are being guilt, uh, the ones that are being uh, selfish and being greedy, are the ones who aren't able to make enough to not only help themselves but to help other people as well. All right, so look, I hope you enjoyed this video. Today's business boost. I've already done my daily development. I gave you an insight into my family a little bit earlier on. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back again tomorrow for a new week of business boost and daily development. Much love. Take care. Peace. I'll see you again tomorrow.